Hey church, welcome to a series of devotions called This Audacious Life. We're preaching on a Sundays and also taking some thoughts over the next few weeks on This Audacious Life, who we are called to be as followers of Jesus, following the ultimate audacious person, Jesus Christ himself. And the Bible says this, Proverbs 28 verse 1, the righteous are as bold as lions. The righteous, that's us, we're as bold as lions. And to be bold, that is a literal definition of the word audacious, to be bold, to be fearless, to be unrestrained by convention. Uh, and, and so as a church, we believe we're called as Christians to be audacious, to be bold in our faith. And uh, so today we're just going to give a quick little history of Audacious Church uh, and then talk about what it means to be an audacious Christian, to be a follower of Jesus. What does that mean? Audacious Church opened the doors in September 2007 in a small building on a back street. But we knew as a church that we weren't called to be uh, ignored or insignificant, but we're called as Christians to be noticed, to be uh, a part of the fabric of the city, to, to make a real contribution and to make a difference. And so uh, the, having audacious on the name uh, and audacious in our hearts is about being fearless and being bold in making that difference, making a vision become a reality. The vision of Audacious Church is to be a church numerically so large that we transform our communities one person at a time. It's a vision that we have to be people uh, and a group of Christians so large that we uh, people notice what's going on in the cities, but also so small that we make an impact with every individual person that we meet. We believe that's a Jesus vision to be someone that's life is so big that it makes a, a big impact and yet so small that we notice individual people in our life. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, in the incredible famous chapter of the heroes of the faith, it, it speaks about all the heroes, lists all the heroes in the Bible and it says in verse 13, all these people, all these heroes were still living by faith when they died. They didn't receive the things promised or seen or the visions. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. Really, that is what every Christian is called to be, that we understand we're a foreigner, we're a stranger here, just here for a short time, and yet have a vision for something way bigger and way beyond our current realities. Just like every hero in Hebrew, in the book of Hebrews that, that we see, their vision was always greater than their capacity to see it come to pass, because our vision outlives us and outlasts us. It's a vision to be passed on from generation to generation. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 39, it finishes that chapter of faith and it says, all of these heroes were commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised since God had planned something better for us together, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. In other words, God's desire and heart for us as audacious people, as bold, fearless, righteous people is to live way bigger and way beyond just ourselves. This is the vision of Audacious Church, that we're not just a church for ourselves. We're not just a church for the here and now. We're a church that lives for our cities, for our nations, for our continent. We're a church that lives for the individuals that we come face to face with every day. We want, to want every one of us to carry that heart that today you have a vision to make a big impact by reaching the individual people in your life. 
have a vision that is bigger than you and outlasts you and see what God can do with people whose hearts are fully committed to him. That's what we're about as Audacious Church. That's what we're about as Christians. And together we can do something that makes a huge impact by reaching individual people. We hope you have a great day. Make the most of every opportunity. We love you. We're praying for you this day. God bless you and we can't wait to see you this weekend. Love you.